one specific guy from a certain group we've talked about a lot this season, uh, this off season, um, is our guy Josh Gordon. Um, okay. And we have made contact with Josh Gordon's people, and there's a chance Josh Gordon may be coming on the show in the next few weeks. So uh, wow. I'm, they're not making any promises, but there's a chance that Josh Gordon will be coming on Chief Concerns to hear his uh, from his number one fan over here, JD. <laughs> Love to have him on, man. Love to have that guy on. Absolutely. Um. So okay. So. Josh Gordon, we haven't really heard much about uh, him so far uh, in uh, from training camp. You know, everyone's tweeting about Juju, Sky Moore, uh, you know, MVS, even uh, even Michael Hardman. Not much about Josh Gordon. You have to really have to search his name on, twi- on, on, the, on the Twitter to find anything Josh Gordon related. And the only thing I've seen so far um, on, on that aspect was uh, Fox Four KC's PJ Green uh, has tweeted a video of Josh Gordon dropping a pass saying. Uh, he's getting good separation in one on one, but just dropping the open pass is becoming kind of a trend for him. That's one thing I've seen. Then also another good thing was um, uh, Coach Eric Bieniemy, who talked about the experience with Josh Gordon so far, um, and the, the the quote was, "This has been a fun process with Josh um, because first and foremost, after going through it for a season, he had an off season to spend time with us. He's in tremendous shape on some of the stuff. He's still learning, but it's been fun working with him because the thing I love about him." Is that he's the guy who's going to give you all that he has, which is great. I mean, great support to hear from your OC, right? Yeah. Um, so, and this is one thing I, I, like I said, when I'm not really seeing much about Josh Gordon on Twitter. You know, uh-huh. I, I saw only negative stuff, but then when I go on Instagram, Josh on his Instagram, he shared something. It was a, you know, a video of him catching a slant from uh, Mahomes. Um, okay. Obviously, it, it, it was no defense there, but he was with pads on, he's catching a slant. And I thought it was interesting because the, the video that I saw yesterday was a video of him catching or dropping a pass, but Mahomes wasn't the one throwing it. And we talked about how the rapport with Mahomes is a big deal because that's who he's been working out with all season. Now we're throwing other quarterbacks in there. He's trying to catch pass from other guys, you know, getting used to it. I know I get it. That's the, that's the name of the game. You have guys, backups, third stringers, and all that stuff. But right. what do you think about Josh Gordon and, I guess, the struggles, quote-unquote, that we've seen so far um, in training kits early? But what do you think about Josh Gordon and his chances to make the team as of right now? I mean, I, I think his chances are still good to make the team. I mean, I really do. I think they'll carry probably, you know, seven receivers. Uh I think he's he's got a great opportunity to still make the squad. No doubt about it. Shoot. I think uh I watched a video um that he was in during team. And I'm you know, I, I rewinded it a few times, you know, because I'm I'm looking at body language and looking at different things like that. And so it's it's almost telling what what uh B enemy said. You know, E B was talking about like, hey man, look, he's still trying to figure it out. He's he's been with us the whole year. He's still trying to get kind of acclimated and comfortable. And like when I seen him kind of run the route, like you could still see that a little bit. At least I could. I could still see like he's not letting his ability just, you know, just fly off. Like we know somebody's going to work hard. And sometimes what you try to do is you may be so uh, try to be so perfect that you start messing up. Right. When you start feeling free, like you ain't got nothing to lose and you just let your you know athletic ability fly without thinking about what you're doing. That's when you can showcase what you know what type of guy you are, and so this this offense I think it just it's you know it's predicated more like I said and I, I keep saying this on, on like the smaller body the smaller guy it really is now if you're throwing deep routes down the field you know on, on a bigger taller lakier guy I think he'll you know that's where he's going to be a better fit right and I think you know like MVS is one of those guys that could do those things. And Josh could be right, probably right there behind him. If that's going to be part of like what you're going to do, that's going to, what you're going to give, be more geared toward. Um, so I think because of what I see, the app, the, how the offense is, what it's predicated on, what their scheme is, uh, a taller guy could kind of possibly get lost a little bit because. You know, little guys could kind of run. It's like, you know, like you said, slants, slants and, you know, in routes and like over routes, um, you know, a lot of cross routes, different things down the flat, you know, maybe curls and hooks. It, you know, Chiefs do a lot of that. That's part of the offense. Uh, you know, and the bigger guys just you got to use your body. You know, you got to, you know, push a guy out and just run it down. If you go like a 50-50 ball, throwing over a guy's head, Josh probably going to go up and go get that joker, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. That's going to be a strong suit. And I think him finding his way, like, look, where he could just like, you know what? I'm just going to let myself play. 
okay, into the scheme of what they're trying to do and try to fit my athletic ability into this, that's what I have to do. And so I think that's maybe some of that, the, the reticence of maybe where he may not be comfortable just quite yet. But as far as making a roster, I think, I think man, he, he's, he, he's, he's definitely got a great chance, you know, because he's still a talent. Everybody knows he's still a talent, man. We know that. Shoot, he don't have to be Josh from 2014, right? Shoot. If he's a big, wily receiver, veteran guy, you know, can go up there and catch football, then been good. Uh, but, look, we know also, too, and I think we, we kind of said this, there's going to be favorites. Some people don't want to see Josh make the squad, and, you know, they, they want to go ahead and push him to the side, and he's washed up and all that. They want to go ahead and keep believing it to that narrative. Me, I'm on the opposite end of that spectrum. I really am, you know. So, like I said, I'm pushing for the guy. Uh, I don't know if anybody, if he does something that positive, who's going to write about it, right? Mm -hmm. I think sometimes you need a, a, a person to champion you, like in the media, that's going to say, hey, look, man, Josh, man, he, he made a great catch today, right? Who's going to be the guy? Who's going to be a reporter, you know? And sometimes reporters rely on going after the popular guy, yeah. right? Maybe they're not the guy that they think is not going to make it. You know, they don't, want th they don't put their money on that pony. Huh, we don't want to do that. No, not, not on this horse. But I, I'm here to tell you, man, this this Josh and I think the coaches, and I know the coaches know, this guy's a guy that has ability. You know, don't count him out. Don't do it. Yeah. So. And I think we've talked about it before. It's like, if you look at all the receivers we have right now, he's so different than all the other ones. So it's like, by keeping him on the roster and like, you know, having him, and you, and you think we're gonna we're gonna keep seven receivers? You think we're gonna go with seven? I think we go with seven. I, you know what? I did a count, man. I, I went through and I wrote down everybody I thought was gonna make it. I, I, I have it here somewhere. I don't know. I might pull it up, but I, I uh, and I, I went down through the count of of what I had. Uh, how many they was gonna keep on? Like in each, you know, each category, each each uh, position. Uh -huh. So I don't know if I have it here. Let me see. But I mean, Josh was in there, but I had the the amount of guys I had on here. I got so many lists and stuff in here. <laughs> well, so we could knock out the first four. You got Juju, MVS, McCall Harmon, and Sky Moore. So that's four right there. That's four right there. That's you know those four right there is I think is pretty pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I had Josh right there at the beginning as the fifth guy. Uh, uh, Powell was like the six. And the seventh could go to any of those guys, man, that, that I think the, the special teams guys. So, so uh, you know, the six and seven's got to play special teams. There ain't, ain't no question about it. That's the, that's the way it's going to work. And then, of course, you know, I know Sky Moore's going to play special teams. Yeah. Some of those things. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, let me see. Uh, oh, no. So, I had on here, I got six wide receiver count. This is a 53 man roster. Okay. Now, this is what I had, and this I'm, I'm gonna change this up. So I had five running backs, six wide receivers, nine o, o linemen, four tight ends, uh, and let me see three special teamers, and I think I had you know two QBs that they're gonna carry, mm. and then I had eight D line, six DBs, four strong safety, six linebackers, which twenty four on that twenty four and twenty four, and then the special teams. Uh, I had 53, however it came in. Yeah, I think it's that's what it is. So 24 on offense, 24 on defense, uh, a 48, two QBs, that's 50, and three special teamers is what I'm looking at. Okay, so you said you had five RB, and that's including fullback? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then you had four tight end, you said? Four tight ends. Do you think that goes to three and they cut Blake Bell? Because that, that, that's, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of people are saying that, that that's a possibility that can happen. A lot of people say that, man, but I'll tell you what, shoot, you, you better make sure that those three guys are going to be able to block like you want him to yeah. in, in, in short yardage situations, you know? So, uh, and I, I heard people say, well, you can just use that tackle for that. Well, you could. You, you possibly could do that. I think it just, to me, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm not, look, you got a tight end. I, we ain't bringing another tackle in for that. Don't do that. Don't do it to us. Don't cut us off. Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, we'll cut our throat. Shoot, forget that. And leave that tackle out somewhere else. Well, how many of those tackles can they be the Wildcat quarterback on, uh, on fourth and inches, huh? I mean, Blake Bell's the only one who's doing that. <laughs> right, right. And, you know, I heard somebody, oh, you can use somebody else for that Wildcat. Yeah, you could. But, hey, look, look, don't don't start 
exit out Blake, you know, Blake Bell. Don't do that. We ain't gonna do that, man. Bell, man, we stand behind you, brother. Okay. Tight end solid. We're, that's where we at with it. Okay. So you had six receivers then, right? I had six receivers. So who that's what I had? Who Five was? running backs, nine old line, four tight ends. That's where I was. But I I could I could see that and change it up. I can see four running backs. I don't think we need well five because we got the fullback. Yeah, that's right. Bird, so that's a five. Yeah. Six wide receivers, nine on line, you know. Four tight ends. That's that's gonna be tough. So that man, that's six. Woo. Yeah. Who, who, who's your sixth on that list you got there? Uh <laughs> <laughs> had to come later. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw the first five or six, but I, I, I that's where I got. That's where I'm at. Okay. All right. I mean, Josh, we talked about these. Okay. Let's look at the four locks at every receiver for now. The four locks, Juju, MVS, McColl, and Sky. What right. all those guys have in common? None of those guys are the big body guy that Josh Gordon is. You know, it's like he brings something to the table that these guys don't have. Right. And right. The, you can find the, and the other receivers that we have. Yeah. I and mean, those guys are big, but those guys are, you know, um, around the same stature, uh, but the thing that today what I saw was um, it was a tube. D- Dave Tuba talked about um, how uh, Dory's Fountain's probably going to uh, probably would make the team. Um, he's he's doing well right now, um, uh, based on the way they're seeing he would make the team is what they're saying. Um, and that's that that's someone who you know he plays special teams. He made a yeah. team last year, um, and then also uh, Justin Watson. Um, he said a, bi- a big reason uh, for him coming to Kansas City was, you know, Feech told him that he had a good shot at making the team if he signed in Kansas City. You know, obviously it's really early and you have to, you have to kind of play to, to, to get your spot on the team. But, you know, er- everyone thinks that they got a shot to make the team. It's obviously what the, what the coaches want to go with. And I just think that if you just look at, you know, body of work and just w- with the way they are and stuff, Josh provides something that the, these other receivers don't provide. Um, but, you know, it, and he has that. The question is, will he utilize it though? Right? Yeah. Will he utilize what he what he has? It, you know, part of his gift of you know being a big body receiver. And so I think he has to find his way, like in the offense, where he has to say, "Look, I'm a big body receiver. I got to start bodying guys up." Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like a, my like my son. So my son was a wrestler, and so he was six three wrestling. And so when he first got started. You know, when I was watching him, he was trying to wrestle like the smaller guys, like the shorter guys. And I'm just like, look, man, I said, you you can't wrestle like a smaller guy. You could be as quick as them, and, but use your length to your advantage, right? Like use your length. Once he started understanding that, then he started winning, man. He started realizing, okay, like, you know, now I could kind of, you could sprawl. I'm like, you could sprawl out. Like the worst thing you possibly do as a big guy is get put into a ball. Because I said, you know, when you start losing, that's what they were doing. They, the little guy was getting you into a ball where you couldn't move, where you couldn't expand. I said, man, shoot, you want to expand like a spider, like, you know, like Bone Jones. That sucker expands. You know what I mean? He's going to let his limp. That's what you want to be able to do. And so it's the same thing, like, when I'm seeing, uh, like, on pass rush. Like, if you're a big guy, got long arms, don't let a guy get into, don't let a guy get into you. Don't let him get to your space. You know, that, you don't want that to happen. You keep him at bay. Boom, get them arms out here. You hit that sucker in the mouth before he can, oh, shoot, before he can get his hands, before he make a move, change his things, right? Mm-hmm. Use that, that limp to your advantage. That's what you want to be able to do. So uh, that's what, I'm, are they going to use his limp to, to their advantage? Are they going to, you know, utilize that limp that he has? Yeah. That's the question. You know, if they don't, then, hey, man, I see, you know, when we talk about like Justin Watson, you talked about, uh, you know, Doris Fountain, who are special teams guys, that might be a nod, you know, as far as how things work. You know, I mean, this is the NFL, man. It's, it's you know, and and what what we can, what we're going to carry is what we're going to be able to use, right? Like, shoot. Uh, you can have certain things in your arsenal. Uh I don't know. Let's just say that you own land, but you got a you got a boat in your arsenal. But you don't need a boat. What you need it for? You, you, we on land, you know. Yeah. I guess if we're gonna be some water, but we ain't gonna be near water anytime soon. Then, you know, it's just taking up space, right? So yeah. I don't know. I'm look. I'm still pushing for Josh. Yeah. I still think he has a lot of a chance. It's probably three or four weeks to start making the decision what guys are gonna do. 
So that, that's that's how it works, man. It's NFL. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm in agreement. Do, do you think that they used him? Because I remember a couple of years ago when we brought in Kelvin Benjamin during the middle of the season. We kind of used him primarily in like the red zone area. Yeah, we, yeah. Did you see them keeping Josh Gordon on and kind of bring him on? It's more of like a like in a red zone package kind of deal where he comes in just for for that kind of stuff because it that you can use his size in, in the red zone there easily. You you could you could use a size for that, man. You, you really can. Um, matter of fact, I, I look at it this way. Uh, like when Jody is down, right? We know Jody has length. Like y'all could utilize him at that position. Mm-hmm. You really could, right? I mean, uh, guys, uh, and all you're doing is putting pieces in different spots. That's all you're doing, right? And I'm not saying until Jody gets well, he can learn that position. There's, you know, everybody should learn everybody's position. I mean, it has work anyway. Everybody knows what everybody is doing. They should. If they don't, then it's, I, I, I don't know what they're doing, right? So for real. I mean, you're not going to pro if you don't know what, you know, the X or the Y or the Z is doing or the F or, you know, the H or nobody's true. Then you ain't paying attention. You ain't trying to keep a job. Mm-mm. So um, I don't know if I was Josh or somebody like that. Hey, man, we need somebody. Hey, I'd do it, coach. I, you know, you get somebody back. Like, hey, hey, coach, I can do it. And hey, we need somebody to hold the ball. I can do it, coach. I got it. You know, and that's how I guess, man, we start getting on the bubble, man. Hey. We need somebody to go pick up these dummies. I go do it, coach. Yeah, hey, you become the I, I can do it, coach. I can do it, coach. So, gotta prove your worth and prove, prove that value. Prove the value, man. Shoot, some of them guys, man, gonna be out there. Hey, man, we need the washers broke. I can wash clothes like coach. Just give me a rock and some water and some soap. I can get it done. <laughs> hey, the desperation. So, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, th- I think during the all season, it they were looking for that. Like, look, this we have a bigger body here. We can do these things with this guy. How about doing this? And yeah. so sometimes I see some of the, you know, of course the uh, the deeper post routes or the deeper, you know, corner routes. A guy like that could definitely w- win on those uh, those matchups. Right. Yeah, it's like we said, you know, like the, the the stuff really comes on when the pads come on, right? Like the the coaches are starting to make their like their list when the pads come on. You. Everyone's a gym class hero with the, with that with no pads on. It's when the, it's when the pads come on. That's when we're seeing the, the, the real deal guys are. So, right. I mean, if Josh did have a bad first few days, like we said in the opening of the show, then he can make that up right now by with the pads on. You know, and going out there and playing football. You know. And I tell you what, if I'm if I'm Josh, I'm going out there, man. I'm snatching every DB and whatnot, man. I'm just I'm playing bully ball with my size at that moment. You know what I mean? Yep. And just let himself fly. Let just let his athletic ability fly. Don't worry about anything right now. If your back's against the wall, you let that thing go. Yep. Let that thing fly. Go out there, compete every little thing, catch every little ball. You know, because everybody first thing is like I said, somebody created a narrative. Oh, when he had a bad drop, or he, oh, he had him beat, but he dropped the ball. Okay, I'm sure other people are dropping the ball. I've seen other people drop the ball mm-hmm. out there in practice. You know, so. All right, we're gonna slant it that way. I got it. We we understand what's going on. Yeah, cool. I'm pushing for Josh Gordon. I am. I'm gonna stick with it until something else happens. You know, hey, I want the guy. To, I wish him well. I want him to be here. And I hope we get him and utilize him the way his size and everything can do what we can use for him. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. I. 100. I, I think it's it's really unfair. I know Josh Gordon's a bigger name than the other receivers who were on that bubble, right? But like for that, for for the only reports I've seen to be like, oh, Josh, you know, dropping passes. It's like you're telling me no other receivers drop the pass. We're only talking about Josh. We're good separation, but dropping a lot of passes. It's like, come on now, like it's, it's the, 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 these guys are catching hundreds of balls uh, throughout these these few weeks. So people are dropping passes. He ain't the only one out there dropping passes. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, you know the thing is, we out. You know, he just got to need keep showing up. Keep yeah. showing up more. And sometimes it's what you got to you like, look, yeah, I keep showing up more. You got to do something great today. You know, I think Josh said it's like, look, I got to do something great today. I'm making a couple of plays right now to do some moves and the eyes and stuff like let everybody remember who you got right here. This name on the back jersey. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's back. Yeah. Sometimes you got to show those things, right? Yeah. So, search yeah. your dominance. And another guy we talked about uh, who's also just doing well, which I've heard, is Corey Coleman's been been playing pretty well too. He's uh, he's yeah, I like Corey. Corey, yeah. So it's man, look, it's 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 tight. 
It's tough in that room. Yeah. It's uh, going to be tough in that room. Again, it's going to be fun to watch the thir- third and fourth quarters preseason games because, man, we're deep, man. The thir- third and fourth preseason games are going to be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like a guy, you know, Cornell Powell, we was talking about, hey, man, we, you know, we love that guy. I mean, we just, you know, shoot, see what he does. And I'm sure he's going to play special teams too. Oh, yeah. You know, he's going to do whatever he's going to do. We know his mentality, what he's he's going to go out there and and, and push for. Yeah. So, hey, man, it's <laughs> – <laughs> that's that's the battles in 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 camp that you want to see, right? So I'd rather have that. Like, man, there's so many guys are here as opposed to like, man, who we got? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it's the it's the opposite of what 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 some teams are going to have, where it's like, yeah, who's going to be the top six? It's like, man, who I don't even know who number four, number five are. You know, like <laughs> right. we have we have guys we go we go in the nine deep over here. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a good it's a good problem to have, but it's also unfortunate because you know some of the guys that we're fa- we're fans of aren't going to make the team. It's like that's the reality of it, you know. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get podcasts.